Okay, so Assassin's Creed 3 cheats. You get cheats by finding pivots at the end of the game. And to find the pivots, you place these little horse graphical glitches on Connor's location, which triangulates the location of the next pivot you need to find. It's all explained in this video. If you're curious, go to the Start Splash page and click the shortcut link, and it will fully explain it there. To get to the cheats, you go to the Options menu in the Start menu, and you scroll down to Animus Hack. So these are all the ones you get by um, finding the pivots. And we start off with Made of Steel, so, you know, invincibility, but this doesn't account for full damage. You can still die by jumping off some really, hot, really tall. Sorry, Infinite Ammunition, uh, this is just for the bow and gun. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't get, like more rope darts and stuff like that. Killing spree. Always assassinate. So if you're in like, I think they call it open conflict, you can always do the badass finishing moves, which usually you have to counter or keep it going from a killing spree. But this is just there all the time. It doesn't work on every enemy, like Jaegers and the heavy weapon guys. You can't, they will still counter you and slap you in the face and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Semi-automatic, no reload times for ranged weapons. Um, I've noticed a couple of like problems with this. You c sometimes you have to hit RB or Y very quickly just to like it does a bit of the animation, the reload animation. It takes like a millisecond. Just keep that in mind. Ninja. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, the guards won't look for you. So if you got like three three stars, or two stars, or one star. When they usually get the arrow above the head, the triangle, sorry, that doesn't really matter anymore. If you get too close to them, they, they will still attack you, but otherwise, they don't really investigate. Um, recruit, infinite recruit tokens, keep them calling you assassins as much as you like. I don't really use assassins in this game. I like to make the game harder, and seeing as there's no armor and stuff, I made it harder by not getting recruit, recruits. Fun to kill, Every time you kill an enemy, um, thunder and lightning surround you. I haven't seen lightning yet when I've been doing it, just hearing thunder and a brief bit of flash. I know you can see lightning in some places, like when it's raining, but I haven't seen anything like that yet. I assume it's there, I just haven't seen it. Weatherman, um, yeah, sunny, snowing, change the weather whenever you want. Sun and moon, daytime, nighttime. Season changer, summer, winter. You can combine these, so you can have it like winter, at night, in the rain if you want, or summer, night. Yeah, you get it. All that kind of stuff. Now I'll do a quick video demonstration showing you them all in action. Thanks, guys.
looks oh, like he oh, wants to All right, we're up and running. This code is hacked to all hell. Nicely hacked, but hacked. The worm found three pivots before failing, so we've got those. You need to locate the remaining pivots on your own from inside. The three we've got will triangulate the rest. It's a sweet bit of hacking on my part, if I dare say. Each pivot detects the others in proximity. There should be 12 total. Every one you find is supposed to produce a hex cipher, and that's what we're after. Once you find them all, We'll sequence the code, package the data, and Bob's your uncle. Now, don't putz around too much in revolutionary America. I know it's tempting. So I've planted two of our pivots. Not easy for my end, believe you me. But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kinda. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance, I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun! Okay, so I'm here in the menu waiting for the um, pivot countdown to finish, and then we're going to go try to find one of my last three pivots. Uh, pivots are Assassin's Creed 3's way of unlocking cheats, so you don't have to do 100% sync anymore, and it's available straight from the end game. You'll get a bit of a tutorial as soon as you've done the epilogue, and then this shows up, this mini game. This mini game is not attached to your game save, it's attached to your Uplay profile, so if I started a new game now, I could continue this on a new save, so it goes across all your saves. It's pretty cool, I like it a lot better than doing 100% sync. Now if pivots, it's pretty much medieval triangulating. You go to the um, the city or frontier, where the pivot's located, and you place um, these little horse things, unicorns, onto um, Connor's location. And after doing that, it draws a line between them all and it narrows down the search for you. Um, pivots have been um, placed by other players, so they might be in hard to reach places or really easy to reach places, like as soon as you fast travel to a location there could be a pivot there, which has happened for me in a couple of cases. But I'm hoping this one's a bit more challenging, so I can sh better show how it all works, even though I'm not very good at it. So this one's about to finish. There we go. And this is in the frontier, which is useful, because that's where we are. So we're going to go plant a pivot on Connor's location. And as you can see, it kind of opened the entire map, which isn't very useful. So let's go over here, which I think there's a fast travel. Just draw a line between these two. Actually, no. Let's go down here, because I'm sure there's a fast travel down there, which will eliminate at least half of the map. So we go to the map. Go to the fort that we liberated. Okay. Now we go back to the map. Plant a pivot. So now we know it's at this area. Now I think we can fast travel to New York, which is there. Yeah. See, so at the start, you're going to pretty much want to travel to as many fast travel locations as you can to narrow it down. just to make it a bit easier on you. 
At the start of the game, you're only, uh, only going to have three pivots, I think. So it gets easier as you go along. So just keep that in mind, that you're going to need to make use of three pivots. Right. So, over here. Map. So now we know it's in this area. Which is a pretty big area to walk around. So, is there any else I can fast travel to? Not really. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to walk into this area. A bit. And it will hopefully cut off at least half of this triangle. Alright, so here we are at the um, location I marked on my map. I'm going to go to the um, animus sinking section again and place another pivot. There we go. This is much easier to work with. So now if you only had like three and you had one there or so, you could actually work with that. It might be a bit hard, but it's possible. But seeing as I have more, it makes it a bit easier. So let's go over this custom marking over here. Now, uh, to make it a bit easier on you, Ubisoft have um, included this little shape that shows up when you are near it, so you're not just searching around for nothing. And plus, if it's far away, you can kind of see, um, like, a graphical glitch of where it would be. Um, so it, 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 it do, I've made it easier on you. So while we're walking, let's quickly go place one. This is how I like to do it, and just keep them removing it. So, down here a bit. Pick up the pivot. I could have left that there, but I want to kind of emulate as few pivots as possible. So, you know, rookies have an idea of what to do. I don't want to save that guy. Oh, if it's in the fort, that's going to be a right pain in the ass, because they are fast travel locations. Oh well. Oh, there's the pivot. See, if you can see on the map, I can't really show you, because it didn't show up in this map. Um, you can see there's a little box with a square inside it. That'd be the pivot, so let's just, for argument's sake, I'll have a pivot down here. As you can see, real small location to find a pivot. So we can go and see if this is what they look like, and we're looking for just the other one of these. So you just look out for the graphical glitch, and it'll be pretty easy to see. Pivot is there. Now somebody else plant planted this while searching for his pivot. Now if another player picked this up while I'm looking for it, I lose this location, which means I'll have to find it again. I don't lose the pivot, I just lose where it is now. So if somebody else is on the other side of this pivot, playing the game right now, and I did this, it would have just vanished. Which is pretty cool. I, I like this kind of stuff. It was in similar, somewhat similar in, in Fable, with the orbs and stuff. So I have a um, ninja hack. Don't know what that does, but that'll be included in this video as well with all the cheats. Right, I hope this helped. Thanks, guys. Holy crap! We did it. It's done. His data's uploading to the cloud! <laughs> Vegas, baby! Vegas! So, we got up to the top of the map here, which takes you to the homestead, I think. And plans another one. And that is the pivot I'm looking for, I think. Like, right there. Let's just see. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the pivot we're looking for. Yep, that was the pivot we were looking for. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I might have to do that again. But you can that's a pretty good example that you are finding pivots that peop other people have placed. 